All right, guys, welcome back to the channel today. Now, you guys know, you know, I'm honest with you guys. I keep it a buck with you guys all the time. And I gotta be real. I didn't like this episode that much. I really didn't. I did not like this episode of Chainsaw Man that much. A lot of the stuff in this episode felt like the definition of, like, fluff to me. Like, side-side content. You know? It's like, it, none of it really felt important. I think the only thing I did like was hearing more about Aki and Himino's relationship. That I enjoyed, but everything else I just felt like was so unnecessary. And le let me just say... I hear the community's outcry for Kobini all the time. Like, oh, she's so great. We love her. Bro, she's trash. I, I, uh, I, I'm, walking a, I'm walking a thin line right here. I, I feel it. But <laughs> she might get better in the future. But like right now, her and Arai are actually trash, dude. I don't like them at all. Actually a hindrance in this mission. They did nothing but be a hindrance. I don't like them whatsoever. <laughs> Enough of that, though. Let's just get straight into it and talk about Chainsaw Man episode... What was it six today? Because this shit really wasn't that it. So our episode begins with them kind of coming to terms with the fact that, yeah, we're, we're kind of stuck on this floor, huh? As Aki actually goes into the rooms and goes out the window and reveals that the window leads into another room on the eighth floor so they're perpetually stuck here they can't get out no matter what they try so it's here that our team comes together to try to figure out exactly what they do know in this moment that this occurrence is almost certainly the doing of a devil and no matter how many times we try to go to a different floor we come back to the eighth floor the elevator doesn't work there's no way outside via the rooms or any windows. And they even tried to go through the ceiling, but they still ended up back on the eighth floor. Now it's here that our boy Denji starts theorizing that maybe it's because power killed that one devil from our previous episode. But Aki tells him that a devil's powers are released when they die, so that can't be it. And it's here that Himino asks him, like, is that piece of flesh around your neck reacting in any way? And he tells her, no, actually, it's gone dead still. As she, theori theori as she theorizes that the devil before was bait, and we bit hard. And it's here that Kobini starts freaking out, like, yo, we're all gonna die here. We're gonna end up starving to death. And Arai's trying to cheer her up, like, didn't you become a devil hunter to send your brother to college? I'm like, what? And they say that they basically forced me to do it. My parents are set on my brother going to college since he's the gifted one, so they made me get a job. It was become a devil hunter or a sex worker. And I'm sitting here like, is there really not a third option? Did you not have a third option? As she just starts breaking down right here, Power just starts laughing at her. <laughs> Which I kind of feel, because I'm like, That's, that seems like such a dumb reason. To do this, truthfully. But it's here that Himeno walks up to her and says, Kobini, devils love fear, okay? If you get scared, you're giving them exactly what they want. And it's here that she notices that something's bothering Aki. As he tells us that the clocks in every single room have been stuck at 818 for a while now. So there's a really good chance that time is frozen on the eighth floor, and that no one will come to help them. And freaking Denji says, oh shit, then we can sleep all we want, right? <laughs> Arai just looks at him like, are you freaking dumb? There's a chance you could be stuck here forever. But Denji counters and says, I mean, we might be, but we might not be too, also. Wake me up when you figure it out. And he actually falls asleep right there. And Aki's just looking at him like, yo, I can't believe this guy. But it's here we flash forward a little bit to where he gets waken up by Himeno as he asks her that, did we find a way off this floor yet? As she tells him, I hate to break it to you, but no, we haven't. As she says that, I'll be honest, everyone is really worn out right now. Aki's been searching for the devil nonstop. I told him to take a break, but he won't listen. 
Arai was helping Aki at first, but now he's locked himself in another room to have a panic attack. Like, trash. Kobini freaked out and tried to drink toilet bowl water. So I knocked her out. Like, really trash. And we see that power is just being power. You know, just saying random shit. And it's here as the three of them are watching over the walking trash bags that Denji actually asks her, like, isn't that the same brand of cigarette that Aki smokes? As she says, yup, that's because Aki learned about the flavor of cigarettes from me. And it's here we transition to one of the only scenes of the episode I actually like, as we learn a bit more about Aki and Himino's backstory with each other. As we see that she's been pressuring this man to smoke for a long time. And he keeps telling her, no, I don't want to. It's bad for your bones. And it's here that she says, let me guess why you joined public safety. You're out to kill the gun devil, right? Everyone who signs up with a chip on their shoulder is the same. Since only public safety is allowed to hold onto pieces of the gun devil's flesh. Devil hunters die young anyway. You might as well smoke. As Aki tells her that, I don't plan on dying anytime soon. And she tells him that, I'll, I'll hold you to that. It's a pain in the ass when your partner dies. And it's here we transition to one such scenario, actually, as Himeno actually gets smacked by this woman. As she says, she was, the, she was one of my old partner's girlfriends. This happens a lot. You get issues with the family and friends of dead partners. They can't do anything to get back at the devils, so they take it out on me. I just consider it something that comes with the territory. Aki doesn't exactly like that, though, as he actually chases that girl down. And when he comes back, he says, I put gum on her clothes. As he says that you shouldn't just sit back and take being treated like that. There's no need for you to feel guilty. It serves her right. She's going to walk around without realizing there's a lot of gum on her clothes. Hopefully it's not some bungee gum, though. <laughs> but it's here that Himeno actually starts breaking out into laughter. And it's here we actually transition to them going out with each other one night, as we hear Himeno said that there's something my master once told me. Devils don't fear devil hunters who are strong or brave. They fear devil hunters who have a screw loose. Which is why I think you'll survive a long time, Aki. <laughs> and it's here she puts the cigarette in his face again and says, Come on, just one, just one. But Aki refuses her again and Himeno's like, Come on, man. I wish you would. I get the feeling we're going to be together for a while. And you can really tell in this scene that some time has passed and that they've grown closer together. I'll just say I feel like she's caught a bit of feelings. That's all I'm going to say. It seems that way to me. As Aki reluctantly takes it and says, all right, just one. This is the first and last cigarette I'll ever light up. <laughs> As we transition back to the present, and Aki is horribly addicted. <laughs> but he's come bearing bad news, as he says. I got to tell you guys something. Remember that devil we killed? Well, he's a lot bigger now. And as they go out in the hallway, we see that this thing has grown exponentially. And it's pretty grotesque. And it's here that the devil actually speaks and says, Humans, hear me, humans. I offer you a contract. Feed me the human known as Denji. Do this, and I'll let the, re the rest of you leave in peace. You'll be free to leave. Now, accept this contract. As Kobini actually comes out of the room with a knife and says, Denji, let it eat you. And I'm like, what? That escalated quick. And guys, I gotta be real. Kobini is trash, man. I do not see the hype. She really charges at Denji with the knife and has to get knocked out by Himeno and Aka. Aki. Like, what? Like, it's a, mm, I don't see it, man. I really don't so far. She's actively making the situation more complicated. And it's here they get a little fed up with the situation. And Himeno tries to use her ghost devil on this devil. And it works. She ends up hurting it. It seems like it's in a lot of pain. But as she's hurting it, it starts growing in size more and more and gets even bigger. As the devil says, it's pointless. This isn't my main body. You won't find my heart here. You're inside of my stomach. And I have no weaknesses on the eighth floor. 
There's no way to survive this place apart from accepting my offer. But our boy Denji comments and says, you're probably not even gonna let them go even if I do die. But Himino tells him, actually, no. As she continues and says, the devil used the word contract, right? Those kind of terms hold a strong sway when a devil is involved. If one side makes good on the deal, the other has to or else. Whichever side breaks the contract ends up dying. So we would be able to leave by killing you, Denji. But it's here that our walking trash bag number two comes out and says, Himeno, we should kill him. We can come up with another plan once he's dead and we're out of here. We're all going to end up starving otherwise. Devil hunters are legally allowed to make contracts with devils. We should take the deal. But it's here that Aki makes a great point that the devil wants Denji dead. That means his death would benefit him, which is why we're not accepting. He continues and says, look, we're not killing Denji. We're devil hunters. We only kill devils. But it's here as more time passes, Himeno asks him like, Aki, do you, have you got any kind of plan for actually getting us out of here? As he says, if, the de if what the devil says is true, we can't kill it, but we're not killing Denji either. If we really run out of options, I'll use the sword. But instantly, Himeno's like, no, you won't. As she tells Denji that he shouldn't use that sword, even if we're out of options. If it comes to that, sorry, but you'll have to die, Denji. And it's here we transition to, transition to Arai, getting mad at power for eating all the food that they were able to find. And this, this whole scene's just so extra to me. As Kobini comes back out again and says, I get it now. We can't get out of here because of that fiend's power. As she charges at her eye with the knife and they both start freaking out. And we see that the devil outside starts growing yet again, even bigger. And as, we're as they're running, we just hear the devil say, kill Denji. I will grow as your fear grows and with your terror, I will capture you. And I think I have a good understanding of what's actually going on here at this point. Himeno even said earlier in the episode that the devils love it when you're afraid. They feed off of your fear. So what I think is really happening is the devil is just constantly putting them in a state of fear, anxiety, like with Kobini and Arai, and it's growing even more off of that. So to defeat it, wouldn't the opposite apply then? If you don't fear this devil, if you're not afraid, if you're perfectly calm, wouldn't it get weaker and shrink? That's what I think is happening here. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but that's what I think is happening. As the devil says, I will be the one that kills Chainsaw, the Eternity Devil. And it's here that the devil actually starts tilting the hallway to where the entire hallway is on its side. As the devil says, give me Denji's heart, which we know is Pochita. As Kobini starts screaming, somebody, anybody kill Denji. And it's here that Aki says, I'm using the sword, screw it. But Himino actually restrains him right here. She says, we can probably get out of here if he uses that sword. But the pact is one that takes a lot of years off Aki's life in exchange. He's got too much to live for. To me, it looks like she's letting her personal feelings get in the way of her judgment. And it's here that Arai and Kobini actually circle around and come from behind Denji and they're ready to kill him. Trashbag Kobini is literally about to stab him. But Aki jumps in the way and gets stabbed instead. As he says that he might be a piece of shit that deserves being stabbed a time or two. But he wants the gun devil dead. And I can't kill it by myself. To do that, I need devil hunters with the guts to fight it. Even if it costs some of my own life, I'm not letting Denji die. And I gotta be honest, I'm really fucking with Aki after that. That's, a re that's real. That's real, man. He don't even like him. But he literally took that for him because he's like, I need him. I can't beat the gun devil alone. I need this guy. I'm not letting you kill him no matter what. That's fucking real, man. And I like Aki a lot more after that. And it's here that Himeno sees Aki's hurt and she starts freaking out, actually. 
saying, what do we do now? As Denji reluctantly gets up and says, I guess it's snack time then. As Denji says, if I manage to kill this fucking devil, I still expect to get that kiss, you know. As he says, it's gonna hurt real bad, but I'll get my chainsaws out. I don't know what that devil's deal is, but it's scared of my chainsaws. That's why it didn't try to kill me and wanted you guys to do it instead. So I figure if I tear it up until it can't take any more pain, it'll want to kill itself. As he looks at Aki and says, I can't believe you did that for me. I'm through with owing anybody anything, got it? So once we're out of here, we're even. As he jumps into the devil's mouth, and our episode ends. And this, this episode was something. I get it that they're trying to probably make the characters obnoxious. Especially in a situation like this. It's because I think that this devil is feeding on their fear. So it's making them more hysterical. Making them more fearful. But damn, they're so annoying though. I'm sorry guys. Kobini and Arai are so annoying. I'm gonna get, I know I'm gonna get hate in the comments for saying that, but they are, they suck so far. They are trash. As I said earlier, they might get better in the future, or they could die. <laughs> but right now, they suck. I don't like them at all. But Aki, I like Aki a lot more after this episode. This episode did one thing for me, and that's improve my opinion of Aki. Which is a good thing, because if he's going to be a main cast member, like, he's got to be likable at least, you know? But what did you guys think of this episode? Do you feel as harsh about it as me, or do y'all just blindly love it, you know? Let me know in the comments. I'm sure I'll get a lot on this one. But, yeah, guys, I, I hope next week is a little better in terms of episodes, you know? This one wasn't complete garbage or anything, but, like... It was easily the worst one of the season so far, for sure. But you guys let me know what you think down below. And until next time, guys, I hope you have a great day, week, month, and year. And until then, deuces, and have a blessed day. And remember, don't get trapped inside of a hallway for all eternity, you know? Would not be very good. I'll see you guys next time.